How sweet it is. Welcome back. We've reached the end of our story, and I saved the best stuff for last. Even if it doesn't look like it from this angle. Beyond those doors in that gymnasium are a bunch of dance-crazy teenagers who have no idea what's waiting for them outside. Safe and sound. Not a care in the world. Straight up enjoying life. Then there's these pranksters, who seem to be having a great time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, that, that stuff stinks. Should we be wearing protective masks or something? It's manure, not poison, Teddy. <laughs> Even patrol monitor Dana Penzone seems to be having some fun. And then there's these fun folks. Jeez, somebody throw a black and white filter on this sucker and hashtag it the Great Depression. I'm Hannah Blank. This is Jill Bachelor. This is Beckett Barlow. And this bright boy is Doug Baker. Look at that smile. Like he knows something we don't. Guys. Because he does. I need to get to the roof. To understand Doug, you need to know David, his older brother. Not only is David an all-state athlete who led our Kingman basketball team to infinite victories, he was the class valedictorian. Not to say that they love him more, but Doug's parents would say they are David's parents. Doug couldn't compete. And because he feels inadequate, now Doug spends most of his time in the principal's office or skipping class. Then I'll shimmy down the side of the building. That sounds super dangerous. Nonsense. Then I'll cut the zip ties and get us all out of here. Well, it's worth a shot, if you're willing to try. What about Hannah's clutch? Hannah, would it really be the end of the world if we went back without it? I mean... Yes, it would. It's important to her. Then we'll go back for it. Doug, don't forget to bring some scissors to cut the zip ties. And Beckett, don't let him run with the scissors. Just has to be really careful. And Do you know who he's in? Yeah. Everyone that says Doug is a burnout doesn't know the Doug that I know. That should just about do it. I'm good, I'm about to throw up. Now we just wait and watch. This is going to be good. <laughs> I don't I don't think we should do this. What are you so afraid of? I don't know. Making the wrong decision? Regret? What happens tomorrow? Then think about right now. Who are you? I'm I'm Hannah Blank. No, no, you're not. You're Hannah Blank. You're in charge of things around here. Right. That's right. And that lady, she has Hannah Blank's clutch. Now you need to decide right now what you're going to do about that. Right now. Um, attention, Miss Security Lady. We need to see you in the office. Right now. Now we're talking. Dude, we can find another way. No, it's not that far. Well, it was nice knowing you. What's in your tux pocket? Nothing. What is that? Is that what was in your fanny pack? Look, man, don't worry about it, okay? Seriously, Doug. Doug! Wow. He literally jumped off a building to avoid talking to me. Are, are you sure? Seriously, there's nothing I would change about it. And trust me, I'm a guru. What about my nails? Nailed it! Goes perfectly with the dress. <laughs> Thanks, that's very edifying. So what do we do now? Come on in. How oh, no. You come in. You're in big trouble, girls. I knew it. 
We are so sorry. Steady. Steady. I mean... Thanks for coming. Let's chat. This your purse. Well, it certainly doesn't go with this dress. Ah, 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 ah. Not until I get a satisfactory explanation. Okay, Miss... Ah, uh, Patrol Monitor Dana Pinzone. Who do you think you are? Tell her who you are. I am prom organizer Hannah Blank, and I'm through playing games. So if you want to charge us with something, go right ahead. But I think that you'll find that we're not going anywhere because the doors are locked from the uh, outside. What'd you do? We didn't do anything. But while you've been chasing us around these halls the past couple of hours, a much bigger threat has been brewing outside. And who's guarding the prom, Miss Calzone? Pin Zone. Well, we are not the problem, Miss Pin Zone. We're just a couple of teenagers that took a wrong turn and we're trying to get back on track. Okay. Well, any idea how we get back to the prom then, Miss Prom Organizer? Can't you call for help on that thing? On this? Oh no, this is just for show. There's nobody on the other end of it. Let me in. Tell me what's in your tux pocket. No. Why not? Just let me in. No. Beckett. Why not? Because I'm afraid you'd be disappointed in me. Okay, for, for the first time in my life, I don't want to be the disappointment. I don't. You just jumped off the roof to save us. You have a long way to go before you disappoint me. So tell me. They're the ones that zip-tied those lockers. Huh. I totally missed that. And they stole a pudding cup from Mr. Brewer's classroom. What a very specific prank. I have no idea where they are now. Well, you guys head back down to the prom. I'll double back to secure the perimeter. See you on the flip side. <laughs> she is such a lovely person when you stop and get to know her. So what do you think? I don't think I understand why you feel like you have to do these things. It's who I am. Doug the letdown. That's not who you've been tonight. If it wasn't for you stepping up, we'd still be stuck outside that prom. Or I'd still be in that bathroom. You're not a disappointment, Doug. You've made our night better without cheating. Dougie, you survived? Barely. Thanks, honeybee. Don't call me that. We got the clutch. And it's only a little after nine. If we run, we can still make it. Doug's limping. Oh, guys, I'll be all right. I'll, I'll catch up with you guys. No, we go together. Yeah, together. Sometimes a little honey goes a long way. What's that smell? It smells like a hot car full of old spinach. Hannah, look out! What is that? Freeze, losers! Put your hands up. Look at this mess. Us, I mean. The B-Squad. We're messes wrestling with rejection, rage, anxiety, and inadequacy. And dealing with dummies like these on the daily. But we know we can give up or change. We can hide or open up. We can build or destroy. 
We can be afraid of tomorrow or make a decision. And it's all gonna be okay. Because we're the bee squad and we've been storing up honey for days such as these. How sweet it is. And fade to, okay wait, I feel like I would be a bad narrator if I left this hanging. None of us saw it happen, but sometime after patrol monitor Dana Pinzone hustled the dummies off, and while the B squad was hosing down the sidewalk, this happened. Now you know the Doug that I know. Okay, I think that's it. It's been a pleasure being your narrator, and thanks for letting me share this night with you. See you around the hive. Fade to black and roll credits. Dun, 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 dun.